So this is now the uh, conver conversion, it's a superhead receiver, but as demo delayer, I'm using a regenerative receiver. So this is uh, converting down the frequency from the shortwave band to, for example, one megahertz, I don't know the exact frequency, and then I have a regenerative receiver, which is fixed on that frequency. And here you can align the sensitivity of this regenerative receiver, and you can also align the gain and, of course, the selectivity. Uh, and there you can fine-tune the thing. I'll, I'll show that. First, I'll turn up the music, okay, which, of course, doesn't work because of dodgy contact somewhere. It's doing that. Oh, no, it's working. So this is one station. You can hear this noises. That's the, that's the solo less breadboard. The contacts are very dodgy. That's annoying. But anyway, that's this, that is one station. It's 60.95 kilohertz. It's KBC radio. And here I have the German station. So this is 60.70. And this is 6095. As you can see, I have a good separation of both stations. I turn up the volume. And this is the regeneration control. So if I turn it back, the sensitivity goes down. And at the same time, also the selectivity goes down. So as you can see, if I, I turn up the volume. So if I turn this uh, fine tune, you can hear it's, one station is kind of coming through very silent, but there's not really much more selectivity or any selectivity left. But the more I increase the gain of the age of the of the regenerative receiver, you can hear it's getting louder, despite of the error noises from the breadboard. Up to this point, here we are now in oscillation. So now it's an oscillation. I'll decrease the gain. There we go. That's the German station. And that's the, that's the English station. As you can see with the regenerative receiver, I have a really good sensitivity and also I have a really good selectivity. So that's the German station again. That's amateur radio radio. So as you can see, it's working quite well. That's a, that's still a superhead receiver, but as demoed later, I'm not using a diode. I'm using a a regenerative receiver. And as you can also see, there's just one coil in the IF stage. There's just one coil in the IF stage left. Here is my input coil, it's 22 microhenries, and here is my local oscillator coil, it's, 20, it's 27 microhenries. Okay, um, what am I doing here? So as you can see, I'll turn up the volume. Here is the variable capacitor, wherewith I can align the local oscillator. But as you can see, it's very hard to align. That's why I've added this fine-tune thingy, and I can tune the frequency fine with a potentiometer. So that's the KBC radio station again. The speaker isn't that good, so I have to decrease the volume. And also there, of course, are probably some working points not perfect, so I don't care. I don't care. Anyway, so this is the circuit with the fine-tune, where you can fine-tune the frequency from your local oscillator, which is the one where you have this worry cap parallel to the coil. So this is just, as you can see, a red LED, which I'm using as worry cap. So you add a voltage to this LED, and it will change its capacitance. And also it's in the wrong way around. So the plus lead from the LED goes to minus, and the minus lead from the LED goes to plus. I've uh, looked back in my older videos, I've made you a, a specific schematic how I've done that. So this is fine tune, if we want to call it like that. And now I'm going to show you something different that might be helpful for your HEC project. 
This uh, TO92 uh, part here looks like a transistor, and actually it is a transistor, but it's a JFIT. It's a BF245 transistor, which has the problem that it's no more being produced, but you can use the BF545 SMD type instead. So this is the BF245, and one fancy thing you can do with this is you can realize a re really simple HEC. So the circuit goes like following. The gate is connected via 47 picofarads to the input tank circuit. And here you can use a big capacitor since this is having a very low gate capacitance and it won't affect the circuit too much. So you can use a big capacitor here like I'm using 47 picofarads, which would usually be ways too high. Okay, um, and what I'm also doing is I'm using a 10 mega ohm resistor from gate to ground, which defines the gain of this circuit. But now I'll show you something, or at least I attempt, just be patient. I connect this resistor to my potentiometer, which is switched as variable voltage divider. And you will be, I hope you will be able to see, if I get a station tuned, that I can now control the gain of the receiver. So you can use that for your HEC. But now, I've, of course, I'll try to align this. Now I don't have fine tune, so it will be quite difficult to align. So that's the German station again. So as you can see, now I'm pulling it to ground. I, I, I try to align it a little bit better. But that we just can hear something. So that, that's the KBC radio station again. So you can hear it. It's not very strong, but now I'll, as you can see, so I'm turning it to ground. So this is like the 10 mega ohm is going from gate of this transistor to ground, and I have the maximum available gain. And as soon as I turn it to plus, as soon as I add a positive voltage, or if the voltage on the gate of this transistor is rather getting positive, the sensitivity of the amplifier is going down. So you can use that, for example, for your HEC circuit. But once again, I'll, I'd like to show you that. It's hard to tune. This, this is why I'm using fine tune, but fine tune now has been disabled. Here we go. So as you can see, as soon as I turn the potentiometer in the direction that rather positive voltage is flowing through the gate of this junction feed transistor BF245, as you can see, the sound disappears. But now if I go back again and pull the resistor rather to ground, it's getting louder and louder. So they are singing, or she is singing DIRC radio, that means German Amateur Radio Club. That's some advertising about amateur radio stuff, books for amateur radio, devices for amateur radio. As I said, this is a, the German Amateur Radios are renting a transmitter in Austria, and every Sunday they're having a one hour broadcast about amateur radio, what is new in this amateur radio club, what can you do with amateur radio, and also they are broadcasting vintage music you may like. Clem, I know you like this rather vintage music. I think you may like, th may like that. So we can listen to that a little bit. But as I said, this is not very well tuned. But I think you got what I want to show you. So just experiment. So I try to increase the... That's a little bit too much. As I said, dodgy, dodgy breadboard. So that's the music from DRC radio. Seems like they rather bring electronic music today. Usually they rather bring music like you like, Clem. But it seems like they have a special about electronic music today. Vintage electronic music. But as you can see it works. And by the way I'm using just a 1 meter long or 3 feet long antenna here. And this is just a headphone. So this is my ground wire, just a headphone like 2 meter long wire or 6 feet wire connected to ground. 
Everything's working fine, it's quite sensitive. But as you can see, I think you got the basics. So you can use this uh, fine-tune thingy, you can use a regenerative receiver for demodulation, and you can save one coil and get a very sensitive and selective receiver. And also you can use a BF245 on the input stage, and by applying voltage to the gate of this transistor, you can vary the sensitivity of the receiver. Okay. So, just some tips and some new stuff. If you want to experiment, feel free to do so. Best regards, Stefan. <laughs>